All right, people. So I'm here with your uh, 2015 MSG live event review. Now, I didn't watch this whole show. I only watched half of it. I think there was like eight matches or eight segments. I watched the four ones I thought were most important because, you know, I'm not going to watch the whole fucking show. I mean, it's an extra fucking show. It's not, you know, your normal Raw or pay-per-view. Uh, and, you know, quite frankly, I don't, you know, get the, uh, you know, I don't want to watch the same boring shit with Sheamus and Orton and whoever else was, you know, on the show. I actually want to watch an entertaining show and... I didn't get that, even with the even with the four matches that I did watch. I thought the show was pretty shitty. But let me explain why. So the first match I thought... Let me just go through the matches I thought were worthy of watching. Owens versus uh, Jericho, Dudley's New Day, Lesnar, Big Show, and Cena, and Rollins. So let me get started here. We have Owens defeating Y2J to start off the show. Quite frankly, this was a very underwhelming match. I thought it should have been much better. I don't know why it wasn't. You know, and, and I saw the fans ch chanting this is awesome at numerous points throughout this show. Really? I mean, they were just doing the normal fucking moves in this match. I mean, you know, it was like, oh, why insult, you know, oh, Owens counters with knees. You know, oh, you know, it, it's just your typical fucking moves. I mean, it's nothing out of the ordinary. It's just boring bullshit for the most part. And, you know, Owens wins predictably well i mean why would jericho win i mean this is kind of a stupid match i mean you know it's cool you got two good wrestlers but you know you knew uh jericho's not gonna win because he's not here consistently he's not a full-timer he's not gonna you're not gonna have you're not gonna have a uh, you know a jericho is intercontinental champion when he's not even there so uh, this match i'm gonna give a half star out of five just horrible for, for the most part then we have the, oh, and by the way, let me just talk about Raw Review. I'll get that up later in the week. You know, I, I came home, you know, around 8 o'clock last night, and instead of watching Raw, I watched the MSG live event. And then by the time I got done with that, it was like 10.30. Um, I, didn't wa I didn't watch the whole thing straight through consecutively because let's face it, there's a lot of shit on that show. But, you know, and that, then I didn't really feel like watching the whole episode of Raw because again, it's it, it was probably a bunch of bullshit. But yeah, I'll get that review up later in the week. Um, but then we have the Dudleys in the New Day ending in a disqualification. Stupid fucking match here. I mean, another match. I mean, this, this is exactly what they did at Night of Champions. It was, you know, a carbon copy of Night of Champions. You know, a, a finish that's stupid. You know, a DQ finish. Not 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 a legit finish. You know, Xavier Woods interferes, I believe. And then, oh, they put him through the table. You know, okay, I'm getting tired of this, you know. Oh, we're just going to put every, you know, every week it's the same shit. Oh, 3D through a table. It's like, you got to do more than the same old shit, you know. You just can't keep doing the same shit every week and expect, you know, the crowd to, you know, cheer and be happy. Because I'm not happy. Uh, this match was very shitty. I'm going to give it zero out of five stars, you know. Um... The Dudleys have no wrestling ability whatsoever, really. You're not going to get a good wrestling match with the Dudleys. So I don't want them as tag team champions. You know, the New Day are way better than the Dudleys at this point. You know, I'm not talking overall or over the past 15 years. But at this point, the New Day should be tag team champions. Don't give it to the Dudleys. You know, the New Day are the ones with the most potential and talent. Or, you know, they have more potential and talent than the, than the Dudleys. So that match was horrible. Then we have Lesnar defeating the Big Show. And let me let me just talk about this right here. Why is the fucking Big Slow, the big piece of shit, you know, oh, I'm a giant. Oh, really? You're a giant. Who the fuck cares? You're a shitty-ass wrestler. I mean, it takes him like fucking two minutes to walk down to the ring. He's so fucking slow. You know, and then he finally gets in the ring and he wrestles at like... A, you know, two miles an hour in there, and he's a, a shitty-ass wrestler. Why is he facing Lesnar? Why does he get the honor of facing... Oh, yeah, first they put him against Sting. Yeah, that's that's the marquee match that's going to draw people in. We got Sting, one match. Who are we going to put him against? Anybody. We have anybody who we could put Sting against. Let's put him against Big Show. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Because Big Show you know, has a lot of fans, and he's a great wrestler, yeah. So... You know, instead of having like a Cesaro versus Lesnar or, you know, 
uh, Kevin Owens or Adrian or somebody with actual talent and potential in this company. We put him with the Big Show, who's been in this company for 20 fucking years. He's a big gi giant fat ass. He's old and he should be retired, but he's facing Brock Lesnar. He just faced him too, like at the Royal Rumble, what, a year or two ago? And now he's facing him again? This is bullshit. So, the match was stupid. It was it, 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 it was nothing good. You know, Brock Lesnar botches, you know. Um, and then he finally hits him with an F5. It's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it was kind of cool. Uh, the, the belly to belly, the German suplexes, whatever. A little bit cool. But it's like we've seen this before. Same old shit. Predictable. N nothing really out of the ordinary. And it was nothing good. So, I'm going to give it one out of five stars. And then we have, of course, Cena in the main event. Of course, Cena in the main event. And, and, and of course, Cena once again defeats Seth Rollins. Uh, yeah, I'm just so sick of John Cena. You know, I hear he's going away. Great. You know, I hope he goes away forever. You know, uh, th that's great news if that's true. But then, of, of course, he's, he's, he's still beating everybody. He's got to beat Seth Rollins. The match was fucking boring. You know, it was the same old moves. You know, Rollins has done that same counter to Cena's AA like every fucking match where he lands on his feet. You know, they gotta they gotta do new shit. It's like the same shit. You know, like they're, they're doing the supl the double suplex, the double superplex or whatever. They've done that every fucking match. They they're doing the same shit every. This is what I'm talking about. They're doing the same thing with, with the Dudleys in the New Day. They're doing the same shit and expecting the same results. You know, after a while, it gets old, it gets boring. You have to do new stuff. You have to innovate. You have to be unique. But they were not unique. And this match was really fucking slow for some reason. It was moving again at, like, Big Show pace. I mean, it was, like, on par with the, the pace Big Show wrestles in his matches. It was slow. It was boring. Like, pick up the pace, guys. You're in the main event. And then and then Kane comes out. And, and you know, Rollins, of course, being the pussy he is, can't even fucking drop down. He's so scared of Kane, he can't even fucking drop, climb over and drop down to the fucking ground in time. You know, it's like, that's how much of a fucking pussy this guy is. All he has to do is fucking, he could just fucking dive on Kane. You know, that's the thing. He fucking decides to try a frog splash on Cena. He just could have jumped right on Kane. You see, you see the logic here? So then, you know, you, you got fucking Rollins fucking jumping off fucking cages, top tops of cages, risking his life, risking his body for this fucking company. And then he got, you know, poster boy John Cena out here doing all these make-a-wish bullshit. You know, oh, I'm John Cena, I'm fucking, I, I have ethics and I have morals and I'm the, the greatest of all time. Uh, and, and, you know, nobody likes them except some, you know, fanboys. Um, so then you have fucking, of course, you know, and, and apparently he's going away, but oh, we have to give Cena the victory. Not, let's not give it to the the guy who actually has talent and actually has fans behind him and actually has potential in this company and he's actually going to be here in a month. Let's give it to John Cena. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of fucking sense. I don't see Cena jumping off of fucking cages. <laughs> but anyway, you know, but you know, in your, being serious though, Cena is, you know, pretty, he is a pretty hard worker, but that's a side issue. The, the match sucked. The results sucked. And I thought it was a, a stupid fucking match. So I'm going to give this one, uh, again, 0 out of 5 stars. And overall, the show is really fucking boring. I'm just going to give the whole show overall a 0 out of 10 stars. The show was a disaster. The matches fucking sucked. And I wasn't, I was not happy. So there you go, people. There's my MSG live event review.